The biggest issue I have in my workshop is bench space. Basically I'm using my table saw outfeed table as a glue up bench and when it's covered in clamps like this, it basically renders the table out of action and really puts a halt to my efficiency when it comes to production and output of new products. So because I don't have any more bench space left in my workshop, I have to think outside the box on how I can develop some sort of clamping system that doesn't require any bench space. So continue to watch this video and you'll see how I not only solve the problem, but also am able to now take my productivity up a notch and putting some more products out there using the system that I developed. Just before I do start, however, big shout out to TimberCon Australia who have sponsored this video. As Australia's leading supplier of woodworking tools, TimberCon offers tools from leading brands with delivery Australia-wide, extended warranties and expert advice. You can check out their website for a full range of the awesome tools and machinery that they have, including the feature tool in this video, the Torque Cutter Double Clutch Pipe Clamps. As I looked around my workshop and confirmed I had no bench space, I was forced to look at other options such as clamping vertically. And as I looked around, I also confirmed that due to my existing storage racks, cupboards, extractors and tool walls, I really don't have any space there either. That was until a little bit of wall space caught my eye in my packaging and postage area. So as a last resort, I thought maybe I could take advantage of wall in there to create a vertical clamping system. So this is the postage and packing area of my workshop. See through those curtains there is where my actual workshop is. And this is literally about the only space left I have where I can possibly put such a clamp system. The only thing in the road at the moment is this whiteboard which I use to jot down ideas every now and then, but I've got enough notepads around the place that that's not a necessity. So what I'm going to do is take this whiteboard down, move these boards here out of the road and see what I can do with this area here in terms of setting up this clamp system. I was going to go through a long-winded description of the design iterations that I went through before reaching this final design, but because the final design ended up being so simple, I won't bore you with those details. Instead, let's just have a look at the parts required to build this vertical clamp wall and how it all went together. To make this clamp wall, you will need three brackets, some batten screws, one length of 20mm pipe, three U-bolts, six 25mm T-section pipe fittings, six 25 to 20 millimeter reducers, some short lengths of 90 by 35 timber, some piano hinge, a length of 300 millimeter wide board or timber, some wood screws, some chain, and most importantly, six tool cutter double clutch pipe clamps. So first things first, I'll just need to get rid of this white board and move some of this stuff so I've got enough room to move around and get this thing done. So I just need to make a quick modification. It's already got one hole there, but it's not quite large enough for the U-bolt that I need. So I'm just gonna drill that one out and then put an additional hole in for the distance of the U-bolt so that thread can go through to hold the pipe on the top. All right, so I'm really happy that I didn't go too crazy with one of those initial designs and end up choosing this more simple bracket option. So again, just gonna take these brackets here I'm going to fix them to the three points. I'm going to put one on either end, spreading 1800 mil with one in the middle for extra support that all the T sections are going to run. These brackets are 250 kilo rated, so I don't think I'm going to have any issues gluing up anything more than a combined weight of 750 kilos. So I found some studs here and I've marked them out where they're going to go. I still want to have some clearance so that I can get this U bolt out if I need to. Also, there'll be the option of extending it if I really want to. But I do have some equipment that I roll in and out of here on some casters every now and then. So I want to try to keep this clamp wall to this end of the end of the wall, just the 1800. I'm only clamping stuff up to about 1200. So I've just loosely fit those little U bolts here. Now I'm going to use a level, screw these into the wall and then slide the bar through and see how we're looking. So I've just decided that putting those U-bolts in there straight away was probably a silly idea. I'm going to be able to slide the clamp on a lot easier if I let that leave them off to start with. So I'm going to leave them off, put the bar on and then put the U-bolts back in. Now this last one will actually be a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. Um, when I tried to find the studs, 450 centers usually would have been perfect because I would have been able to put one at the end, one at 900, then one at 1800. But for some reason that stud is not in the right place, so it's gonna be a little bit close to the other one. 
with the pipe hanging on the opposite side, but it shouldn't be any problem. You would not be able to do that if you bloody tried. That was exactly on the only probably screw within 300 mil of that bloody bracket. I don't know if you can see there, but that is bloody dead center of where that screw is. So I've just gone and drilled another hole there. That'll do. All right, again, so the whole idea of this system is that there would be a bar that would run from there to there, okay? And on top of that bar would be this T section and then our reducer, okay? So the reducer is the size of the clamps thread and this is a little larger so that it can run along, how's it gonna look here? Try to, try to be too tricky here, along the bar that way. Slide along, okay, in between there to adjust if you're doing wider boards or shorter boards and then the clamps go into there and hopefully in theory, they should be able to slide along here and then I'll move on to showing you how I put the shelf at the bottom that's gonna allow that angle to be present so that when you put your boards in, they don't fall on you and you can get a clamp up done pretty easily and have a free set of hands because the clamps will be held on the top here. All right, so I've got this massive length of bar here that is obviously way overkill. I only need the 1800 millimeters in the middle, but I'm trying to think ahead here because if everything goes well, this is not gonna be my forever workshop and I don't wanna waste a total length of bar by cutting it down when it's really not in the road, it's up high. That extra length is not gonna be my road at all. So I'm just gonna leave it on there. So I've just loosely put the U-bolts on this one end here. Now I'm just gonna slide a series of these uh, fittings over the bar, okay, and spread them out around about closely to where they need to be. All right, so now that they're on, I'm just gonna put this, these little U-bolts uh, over the pipe, to hold them in place. So to test out my theory, see if it works or not. Essentially these pipe clamps should be able to just push up into the connection. T section, they just screw on. That should hold them in place. What I've done here is I've just put a rail down the bottom here and I'm gonna put a, that hinge shelf on. So it brings the clamp out a little bit so you've got a bit of angle to play with. So as you're putting your boards in, they're not just gonna fall forward. And then to save a bit of room, after they've been loaded, I should be able to lift that shelf up and they push clutch back down to the wall. That's, that's a theory anyway. All right, so first up, I'm just gonna fix this hinge to the shelf. Now just to finish off this last section, what I'm doing here is just putting a little bit of a chain in to support this shelf uh, whilst it's in action. It's gonna be just an added little feature there to, to stop it from dropping to the floor when the clamp's in action. All right, so the idea is the shelf comes out, gives you a bit of angle there to stack all your boards. Then once it's all loaded, yeah, pull that back out, move the shelf back up, and then stand it in so that you're not wasting so much space so I can still move around the system. So let's see what it's like when I load the rest of the clamps up. So I'd say all in all it's a pretty decent success. Alright, time to test out the first official glue up. I have a big coffee table top here ready to go. Let's see how this clamp wall works. So I've just put some brown paper towel down on top of the shelf to stop any excess glue getting all over the place.
And there we have it guys, it's all done. If you'd like to see how this coffee table ends up, please like and subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on so you can see the full build of my first signature range of custom furniture. This video was sponsored by Timbercon Australia, where you can go to source the pipe clamps featured in this build. Catch us next time.